Smitty gang, Smitty gang, Smitty gang. Ooh, what to do, YouTube? It's your boy. That's me. Yeah, this guy right over here. It's your boy, yo, uh, Smitty, and I'm coming at y'all with a crackhead. We ain't a nigga, man. I'm coming at y'all with that Charleston White. I'm coming at y'all with that great A level clearance 1000 red coat fucking Charleston White, man. Man, this is my first video on him, and honestly, it's probably my first video watching him, but I always see clips of this nigga, so don't think I don't know no, me about no, 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 Charleston White. But this seems like something real funny, and it seemed like I could get too good, uh, too good clickbait. Uh, it's not even clickbait, this is just gonna be some funny shit, man. This is that Charleston White, NBA young boy, first rapper to shut me up when he said to me he a gangster led wrong. <sighs> Somebody shut up Charleston White, man. Charleston writes a great A level class snitch. That boy is fearless. He will speak on King Bond juice with anybody. Anybody. Without any hesitation. So, NBA young boy, shut him up? Shit. Crying. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> man, even the mother <laughs> talking about, man, uh, I, I'm in the hospital. And, 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 and I'm getting ready to get this tumor removed out my ass. Uh, <laughs> day full of <laughs> Even the mother on their dying bed going live. And they say, man, this was their last post uh, two days ago. Now, a mother getting ready to die, his last post was a year ago. Mm. A mother really getting ready to die? Mm -hmm. No, nah, that mother bullshit and just died. No, nah, man, mother really getting ready to face death ain't running to the internet. Yeah. A mother I don't know, not nowadays. Not nowadays, man. I watched a documentary, matter of fact, of some of the whitest shit I didn't ever seen, bro. Tell me why there's documentary and camera footage of motherfuckers going to an erupting volcano. And I can't make this shit up, bro. I cannot make this shit up, bro. Y'all think I'm out here capping or something for the internet, bro. What was the uh, volcano? Netflix active volcano doc. What was it about? It was, um, what was the name of that shit? What was the name of that shit? Yeah. Anyways, y'all know, y'all will find it, man. If y'all really want to see it, y'all will find it. But it just clips, bro, of them. them, they went to an active volcano and they thought that this should be cool. The, the daughter of one of them said, hey, uh, let's go to a volcano. And you know what, you know what the first thing they did? They recorded that shit. First thing they did was record that shit. If you're recording it, you planning on going to the internet. That's, that's really getting cheated on. <laughs> and going through it, I ain't running to no motherfucking internet with no pop. Again. Charleston ain't on TikTok. He on TikTok, but he ain't on TikTok, bruh. TikTok make people show the most embarrassing shit, and I don't get it, bruh. I'm not even on TikTok yet, and I need to be. I need to be uploading my funny clips on there, but I just don't get it, man. Why everybody think it's cool to post the embarrassing shit that they be doing on TikTok, man, for views? Just for views. Because think about it like this, bro. Views, if this is the first thing you didn't do, views ain't getting you no money on TikTok. TikTok ain't paying you like that, bro. TikTok is paying its top people, the people who is consistent with it. TikTok ain't paying the average dumb nigga who wanted to go and jump in the thing alliance, bro. TikTok ain't paying you, bro. Oh, <laughs> no, nah, man, 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 man ain't now posting when he burning yeah that's true man if a got gonorrhea and chlamydia at the same time he ain't making no more post he ain't got shit to say to the world <laughs> yeah no nah, man my out of toothache i ain't been to the dentist in seven eight years that rotten my tooth stinking and then an abscessed up and it's hurting and throbbing and you ain't got no dental insurance and that mother uh, 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 Where's Charleston from, man? No dinner insurance. <laughs> Michelle ain't working no more. No, ain't posting. <gasps> that mother just got that yellow slip and did that pink slip and said, "This is the third notice. Your lights gonna be cut off tomorrow." <laughs> and you is yeah. No, I ain't posting with that disconnection notice. <sighs> Taking no selfies, so that's when it's real. Yeah. Everything else, when you can push live and start and play, mm -hmm. man, that's bull. So, uh, when I'm bored, I pick up my phone, and, and I I just be bored. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
Like we when all I'm do. I'm into some and I need some information, I pick up my phone and I got a direct plan for this. I'm looking up some Yeah. Yeah, DWI lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what the guy the DWI lawyer. Who the best DWI lawyer? <laughs> so now, so so man, I, I understand it. So I just I think try that's to drinking while influence. If if y'all if that flew over your your head or driving while influence. Come so. be real with you, because I know now everybody else really bullshit playing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they really bullshit playing until it's time to get in that mother casket or go to jail that's true they uh it's funny because i was looking at um this whole back and forth with nba young boy and all of them or whatever like that you think any of that is real yeah they dying for real oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah they dying for real oh yeah no that's just real bro that's just real nah see see you can't even be laughing at this shit. i had to stop laughing because of how real that shit is bro that shit is real, bro. I don't even know why. We don't even know why this beef all really started. Like, yeah, you could say it started with King Von, but it really didn't start with King Von, bro. That shit didn't make on going, bro. Them niggas is just out there killing shit. They are, really? Yeah, uh, and I hate to keep bragging, but I got law enforcement friends, police buddies, <laughs> and they want to arrest them bad in the mother. Yeah. Oh, uh, but nah, them, them, they them do. Killing for real. The police want to get them niggas so bad. Uh, Guys. What? And it's not even the ones doing the killing though. It's not even the ones doing the killing that the police want to get. That's the funny thing. The police want to get little Dirk. Dirk ain't killing nobody right now. Dirk is trying to figure out how he can get India back. Dirk trying to figure out how he can get India to kill a motherfucker right now. You think young boy worried about kill young boy on stop the violence right now? Young boy on his tenth, eleventh kid, bruh. Young boy, young boy on his 17th baby mama, bruh. You think he worried about killing nobody right now? No. But but you know who they want to get? They want to get the motherfuckers who's talking about it. Making them look oh, bad. Yeah. But why would they why would they still embrace that life? They, they seem like they embrace it more once they become big and they start getting a little bit of money. Well, they babies. Uh, you got to understand, this is not a star rapper since they released him from the juvenile detention center. That's true. That's true. He's You're a juvenile right. delinquent that became a rapper. So what more do we expect from him? But I see he growing. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> when the little said what he said to me in that verse, uh, it was like it was like being slapped. <laughs> uh, young boy, do that. <laughs> young boy, do that shit to you, man. He, I don't know what verse he talking about. I don't keep. I can't listen. There's no way I'm gonna know. But if I had to guess, there what is the name? I hate young boy. I hate young boy was a mm, that was a fat ass slap, bro. That was like one of those big paws that like I'm your number one fan. Like if you got slapped with one of those, but it was hard as hell and it was lyrical. That's what that was. When he said to me what he said to me in that verse, uh, it, it made me think about I left a half one day. I was standing in a one bedroom apartment with my son and my daughter. Mm -hmm. And I let them have a room and I was sleeping on the on the couch. Yeah, I make the boy pat it on the floor, let the girl take the bed. Right. Uh trying to be a you know, a stand up daddy. We all really depressed. I'm financially struggling. Uh I got a me nineteen eighty nine good time van. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, baby mama, yeah, she in, she in jail at the time. Uh, you probably snitched on it. Yeah, getting the kids. Yeah, yeah. Now nah, I'm, 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 I'm going through it mentally and, and emotionally and psychologically. But you know, I'm present as a father. They cooking every day. Uh, I leave one night and come back. Is this what he's wearing? I'm just not people with his shirt and everything saying it's he's wearing it's his brand. They want to see me dead. <laughs> Cause so that's true. A lot of people want to see him dead. Mm -hmm. I'm saying to myself, man, I know I ain't smoked no more weed before I left. I go in a mijo. You been smoking weed? You been smoking... now, Charleston? You know damn well you don't speak no Spanish. Mijo? 
<laughs> Mijo. Mijo. Me, 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 I can't even say that shit, right, bro. He's trying to say child. Child, bro. Man, you don't, you don't speak nothing. He said, no. But man, this motherfucker smell too. I know I ain't smoke none, man. No. I said, no, don't lie to me. And he said, yeah. But he was so afraid of fear on his face. And then, uh, now I'm mad. I said, uh, why are you smoking weed? And I could answer before he could. He said, because I see you smoke it, Dad. Turn around and walks out the room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't did the same. I mean, I don't smoke weed. But I didn't did the same thing, man. How you gonna sit here and everybody else gonna do it? And I'm gonna completely understand how we gonna do it. And everybody having a good time doing it. But you don't expect me to do it. What the fuck say after that? <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, you both say after that as a parent. Man, what? Man, I ain't know what to say. Uh, so when I heard NBA Youngboy lyrics, it took me back to when I walked in the room and caught my son smoking weed. That kid said, uh, tell Charleston White, uh, I'm a gangster and I was misled wrong. So I'm leading wrong. Hmm. And he said, I was misled. How I'm not going to mislead? Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't, I ain't know, I don't, I don't know what to say. I, yeah, it's been, it done, so yeah, that's how he shut him up. That's how he shut him up. This young boy actually was spitting to, to Charleston White's ear. Okay, okay. Because I was like, I was like, what in the hell kind of tomfoolery bullshit? The young boy say to Charleston White to make him shut up. Cause this nigga would man, this nigga wouldn't shut up if, if you had to play a silent game for your life, nigga. If you had to play a silent game for your life and they had a gun to you and everybody, then this nigga still wouldn't I'm shut speechless. up. Bro. That might be a first, see? Yeah, homie. That might be the first rapper in history that ever left you speechless, bro. Yeah, so so then he come back and he make the little song, uh, this ain't for something, this is for my fans. Uh, then I understood why so many kids, uh, rock with him. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's a lot of people say, well, we the voice of the streets. We the voice of the youth. Uh, he the pain of our babies. All them kids resonate with his pain. That's very true. That's <laughs> dangerous though. See, very dangerous. That's why <laughs> he's so influ influential. Uh, yeah, it's true. Uh, I want love it or hate the man, but he's speaking facts. You know what I'm saying? Read that if you ever want want to check check the temperature uh, uh, of a society, then listen to the the music of the youth. So hmm. uh, I just read a headline today. Well, there's a 15 year old somewhere in this country. I think No Jumper or somebody just posted it. A 15 year old in this country. Uh, is charged for a double homicide for killing two women. Fourteen years old, and and, and all of his pictures, his social media picking. pictures, are gangster images. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, That's insane, bro. It, it if you want to check the temperature. Of How do these podcast niggas get mics, bro? How do these podcast niggas get mics, bro? I get it. Like you're not the one on the show, so I it makes sense that you ain't got nothing to say, but. Man, that's crazy, bro. Really? Oh, word. That's crazy, bro. Like, man, these niggas what never say anything. And JJ Reddick's dude is the worst, bro. The, the, the worst. You. <laughs> uh, if we go back 10, 12 years ago, uh, the Chicago drill music uh, came about. How is it that we couldn't put that out? Yeah. How we couldn't stop that? We was too busy on social media arguing and squabbling with one another. All right, y'all. That's that Charleston White. You know, I want to see some more funny clips. That was really one of them just like real story clips. But that nigga Charleston White just be funny when he be speaking. But Schmidt again, I'm going to hit y'all in the next one. This got some more. Hey, he said, he said he's promoting violence. And, oh, he's not. Charleston ain't going to like my next couple of years. Catch me in the next one, y'all. Peace.